Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. <laughs> oh boy, it's been a while since I've recorded one of these things. Um, two months? I mean, I know I've been putting them out somewhat regularly, but I got a huge queue uh, around the end of the year, and that's the one I want. I got this huge queue of these things around the end of the year that I basically didn't have to record any for about two months and hey now I do because <laughs> I failed to get enough recordings to cover when I was um, out and about so yeah you'll probably notice hey fancy high resolution textury stuff yeah I've been having some fun with textures and uh -huh. I, I basically bumped up the textures on everything, even though I was told I, I that the game can't handle it. Um, yeah, it can. <laughs> Only because I'm absolutely crazy, though. So, alright. Um, this also means that I need to remember what the heck I was doing before I went AWOL for two months. So, okay, so I have Kerbal Lab 1. I have no idea what's on that. And then these flags doing stuff. Okay, so that's cool. Uh, let me take a look at my science. Because science, yeah. <laughs> uh, have I done anything? I have not done anything on Duna, nor Ike. Okay, I'm going to do stuff on Duna. Let's take a look at the technology that I have. Because, hey, I totally forgot what technology I have. Okay, that's the stuff I need to get at some point. And all right, all right, I know what I want to do. Um, I hope. <laughs> all right, as per status quo, I'm going to start building stuff and I will be back. And I'm back. All right, so. <laughs> uh, yeah, a lot of rockets, a lot of stuff to lift up the lot of more stuff up here. And here, <laughs> I have no idea if this is going to work at all. This might just be some sort of suicide thing. You know, I might be absolutely crazy in trying to get this thing to even fly. But let's see if it even survives the launch pad. Cross his fingers. <laughs> oh boy. Me and my crazy designs. Let's see how it goes. That doesn't look like it's working. Yet, nothing is technically broken? Oh, that's not good. That's very not good. Yeah, not good. Ooh, command pod survived. <laughs> okay, um, a few modifications. I'll be back. And we're back. Okay, I think I've got it. <laughs> uh, I used a little trick of mine using these struts to kind of create balancing beams of sorts, and the struts are on these decouplers, so yeah, a little better, a little more stable, a little bit, <laughs> just a bit. <laughs> Uh, that's right, no ascent guidance. Ah, uh, crap. Okay, um, which means I'm kind of on my own for that, which is fine, which is fine, I can do this. Scary. All right, so now, here we go. And yep, good, the lights work. All right, um, <laughs> let's see how this works. Lift off in five, four, three, Two, one. 
everything. Okay, decouple all that stuff. Get a chance to see how all the decoupling works. Okay, there we go. Alright. Parachutes are deployed. I think they're gonna make it. I think they're gonna make it. <laughs> Alright, I need to reposition those SRBs. They're just... yeah. Oh, things are going explodey. Man, things are still going explodey. Holy cow, that's a lot of explodey. <laughs> oh boy. Still explodey. Okay. Yeah, that was kind of yikes. Not my best launch ever. Ah, uh, well, at least I made it up. <laughs> All right. Well. Okay. <laughs> and I'll be back. And take three. So I added separatrons. We'll see if those help. Okay, with all the crazy stability stuffity stuffs and. Alright, let's SAS it, and okay. I'm still going upwards. <laughs> yikes. Just yikes. There's really no other way to describe it but yikes.
just a little bit because of the initial launch wobbly. <laughs> oh, jeez. I was listening to one of Scott Manley's videos and he was kind of explaining why it's better to get into a low orbit and then do a planety intercepty stuffy thingy and I kind of, kind of sort of understood it ish but even then not really I really should dig into the math on some of this stuff and try to see if I can wrap my brain around it I would like to learn the orbit mechanic stuff a little better I mean, I, I I got I got some of the other stuff and, and his little and his new hey here's how here's how the math behind this stuff works videos which is really cool by the way okay let's see if these uh, separatrons help things or not and okay those are done okay that's good that works. That worked without blowing up in my face. And I'm still going upwards. Uh, well, not quite as much as I'd like. Yikes. Oh boy. At least the atmospheric drag is low. <laughs> That's just my goddamn thrust. Sorry, that's a little bit more harsher language than I should probably be using in this channel. <laughs> oh boy. But yeah. Come on, upwards. Upwards, more. More upwards. Arg. Really could use a mainsail engine to pull this off. I don't quite have that ready yet. If I, if I do this mission, though, I totally will. If I can actually get there. At least I've got plenty of fuel on this thing. I might actually break 100 meters per second before I run out of fuel on this section. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, I know. It's the next section I'm worried about because... My TWR, as you can see, is 0.36. Yikes. You know? Just kind of yikes. I, I may need to just fully redesign this thing, just in general. I hope not, but we'll see. I like big rockets. I may need to launch this thing in two sections as well. I mean, I've got a lander, and... Oh... Crap. Um, hold on, I need to actually revert the flight because I'm an idiot and I forgot to put something really important on the lander. I'll be back. Alright, and trying this again. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, what I forgot... Uh, what I forgot the last time... Super uber important things um, was that I've got the capacity to do key thing mining and conversion on the lander, which I think is like super important if I want to do lots and lots of research on Duna. So, yeah, you know, made some tweaks to that, adjusted it so it's kind of, you know, doing what it's supposed to be doing and stuff. Put things, put things and stuff. Uh, and I uh, made a few more adjustments to the actual liftoff thing. You'll notice that the TWR is a tad higher in most areas. Thank heavens, because, oh my god, I will need it. <laughs> okay. Let's see how this new one works. Adjustments to where I'm pointing, because... Oh my god, that is so totally not what I want. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was a tad more minor than I was aiming for, but okay. I 
ai, 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 ai. Oh, giant rockets. Shh, how you will drive me mad. Almost. There we are. That's your pop. Okay. That went well. Good. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm hoping this thing will work properly. I just, I have absolutely no idea. Crossing my fingers here. So, we'll see. Alright, next batch of jettison happening shortly. Then my TWR is going to go down for a little bit. Which will be kind of a problem, but I think think I'll be okay. I really hope I'll be okay. <laughs> this is one heck of a rocket. And yeah. At least I'm going upwards. That's the important part. Next stage soon. probably notice that I've got a, I'm putting up a few EVE online videos, which, you know, I'll do every once in a while, just because I like playing EVE, and I've actually been sticking with it this semester, which is good, because I enjoy it, okay? Good, those were jettisoned, and they did not blow up in my face. Alright. I'm going to start having problems here in a moment if my TWR cannot kick itself up a little bit more. Come on, need to go upwards, need to go upwards. 0.95. At least my atmospheric drag isn't very big. <laughs> 0 0.96. 5,000 meters, 0.97, come on, come on, you can do it, 0.98, 0 0.99, yes, TWR of 1, alright, this might conceivably, possibly, in some crazy universe work. I'm going upwards again, woot! Oh boy. Me and my crazy rocket designs. Yeah, at least it's positive. But um so anyways, I've been I've been doing a little bit of Eve online. I've been enjoying that. It's fun. I still love Kerbal Space Program. It's an amazing game even though, you know, finals and stuff kind of get in the way of doing stuff, but hey, I'm almost graduated. It's my last semester. Two months. Two months to go. I will be so glad when those two months are over and I can, you know, like, have a... Shit. Um... Shit. <laughs> that is... Kind of lame. I... Shit. <laughs> I'll have to deal with that later. Um, that's really annoying. So, like I said, at least my TWR is one. Is over one. This is always a good thing. So, but yeah, I've been enjoying Eve Online as usual. Um, you might want to check those videos out. They're kind of cool. I'm going to be changing what I do in the game once I graduate because I will actually, oh my god, have, hey, what do you know, time. <laughs> I will actually be able to, like, you know, play the game, which will be awesome. <laughs> oh, boy. I enjoy EVE Online, though. I, I, don't, I don't play it as much as I would like to. That's part of the problem. But it is a fun game. And I should play it more. So. 
<sighs> but with Kerbal Space Program, I am looking forward to the next uh, the next release, though it seems like it's going to be another big one. You know, we've got science, and it looks like we're going to start getting uh, career modey stuff too. So, hey, my TWR is actually 1.5. Not bad. Yeah, I am so not starting my gravity turn yet. I, I want to get higher up. Yeah. So, anyways, what was I talking about? Ah, yes. I am looking forward to the additions to career mode, the contracts and stuff. That'll be kind of cool. I will enjoy that. And I will, you know, start a new campaign when that happens. They'll probably be breaking save compatibility once they, uh, once they get that set up. Okay, now might be a good time to start a gravity turn. So, ba -dum -ba -dum. Okay. Actually getting some decent speed going here. That's awesome. Alright, and good. My gravity turn is not killing me. This is awesome. Things are kind of working. Holy crap, I might hit orbit. That would be amazing. Almost two, but I'm going to be running out of fuel on this stage pretty soon here. Almost a two on the TWR. And it's my Apoaps. 42 kilometers. Yep, still plenty, plenty of uh, headroom to go. Need to get it up to 100. Then I can actually do stuff. Okay. Next stage. Not quite as much TWR, but it should do the trick. And yes, I'm using solid rocket boosters at this altitude. Whoa. Also a lot harder to control. Um... Crap, a lot harder to control. I might not have wanted to use solid rocket boosters on this. Having to do a little bit of manual adjustment here. That is not good. <laughs> yep, yeah, it's giving me more altitude. That's good. This will at least get me into orbit. Okay, come on. Use the solid rocket boosters. Alright. Now let's push things out this way a bit since I'm basically all but in space. Which is good. That that means this 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 rocket design actually worked. Awesome. I'm shocked and amazed and incredibly pleased. <laughs> I was not expecting this to work at this level. Alright. Performance of the game is getting a little better too. Oh boy. <clears throat> Let's see, time to apoapsis is about a minute, so I'll burn through this stage pretty good. Which will make me a little sad. Stage. Which is not good because this is the lander stage. But hey, do what I gotta do. So 
totally not what I want to do. Uh, oh, crap. Did I seriously just run out of fuel? Um... Alright, hold on. Let's see if I can do an emergency fuel transfer here. Oh, that's the key thing. That's what I want, okay. Fine. This is the weirdest thing I've ever done. <laughs> this is absolutely nuts. And my ship is totally not stable while I'm doing it. Seriously, need more omp? That would suck. Come on, come on. Fine. Suck. Fine. Stage that. Stage that. Stage that. Oh, well, I guess this isn't going to be a lander mission. <laughs> Let's see if this kills me or not. <laughs> oh boy. I've still got a fair amount of fuel. I mean, 3700 Delta V is not bad. That's that's actually manageable. I can I can work with that. <sighs> oh, crazy, crazy, crazy. Little concerned about that. I'd like to find a way to Ah Awesome. Awesome. Awesome, I'm back up in the positives. Okay, uh maneuver planner. Circularize at Apoapsis. Okay. Whew. 
I think this will work. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I may actually be able to make it to another, to, to Duna. Which would be awesome. Now, the problem being that I can't really do much of anything once I get there. I've got the science lab, but all of the actual science-y stuff was, you know, not on board this mission. So I guess I'm just kind of doing this for fun, you know? Yeah, that works. Fun. I can do fun. Sweet, I'm circularized. Also, from the look of things, I think this will work. Mm -hmm. Sweet. Okay. Things are a little more balanced now. All right. Um, let's see here. Duna. Set as target. Where's the transfer to another planet? Uh, 32 game days. Okay, and let's add an alarm. And now let's switch over to. Oh boy, very eccentric orbit, more so than I would have liked. That's not a big deal. Um, so, the Kerbal Lab thing, Kerbal Lab 1 thing had me doing stuff. Let me find out what stuff it wanted me to do. And... There we go, okay. What was I doing with Kerbal Lab 1? Um, okay, so I had this thruster package thingy mer jigger mer bob. I don't have a mech jeb, which is kind of annoying. Let's see, I do have empty fuel tanks. Yahoo. <laughs> and I can decouple the this thruster pack here, which I don't know, maybe I'll do that. 140. Why do I have it at 140? Um, so this was originally designed to be a refueling depot -y thingy, and eh. Oh, that's right. I remember kind of what I was going to be doing with this. Hmm. What is this thing? Oh. Ah, right, the emergency chute. Okay, that's cool. Um, totally useless for me right now. So, yeah, I'm going back to this thing. Also found out where Jeb, Bill, and Bob are. Oh, that's cool. Hmm, let me try that again. Wow, that's kind of trippy. I like that. All right. Um, so yes, I've got that thing, and let's just okay. I'm definitely not waiting that out. Um, <laughs> I think actually now is probably a good stopping point for this video, so I'm going to cut it here, and I'll be back. Um, 
hopefully with a little bit more success than I was having before. <laughs> All right, folks, it has been fun, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Doo -doo -doo.